Morning, Lisa. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? Very good. Very good. Uh, the fertility journey is uh, often a challenge. It is. It absolutely is. And we hear from clients um, many of the feedback of what the challenges really are, the emotional challenge, the financial challenge. And um, I had a conversation with a woman last night who recently had a loss, and it was the unknown. So, well, is there something that I did do or that I didn't do that could have caused this loss? And we have all these challenges to work with and to try to address one by one to see how we can ease them. Absolutely, and there's so much out there, it's very difficult to pinpoint it. Mm -hmm. uh, but we work to simplify it in all the things that we do, and, and uh, the loss part and the why part is our biggest challenge. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's important to take a global, uh, holistic approach yeah. to all this. And in the science part of it, we're recently looking at uh, more and more the immune system. Yes. And and unless it's genetic, mm -hmm. chromosomal, or some anatomic uh, defect, mm -hmm. uh, septum, large fibroids, the immune system is something we come back more and more to understanding yes. how the immune system is there to keep us alive, mm -hmm. but it often um, uh, works to destroy and ultimately may kill Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Uh, and I was reading a recent article in, in, in Human Reproduction about vitamin D deficiency mm -hmm. and how vitamin D deficiency uh, affects the immune system. Yes. And by supplementing, mm -hmm. we seem to be helping to modulate our immune system. Yeah. So vitamin D uh, testing mm -hmm. seems to be more and more critical. Absolutely. And then recently another article about folic acid levels, and yes. we think it's important, obviously, for for neural tube uh, yes. uh, uh, defects, and but also finding that it's important in modulating the immune system. Interesting. And, and that immune system is, is key. Mm -hmm. And so... Where do you where do you rush to in all yes. this? Well, you know, work to start simple, and we talk mm -hmm. about a healthy diet, mm -hmm. those supplements. Mm -hmm. But I think it is important to do some of the diagnostic testing, That's great, and and get the physical, mm -hmm. emotional support. Talk yes. to someone. Mm -hmm. um, when you talk, it makes us feel better. Yes. Talk to a specialist who has dealt with it both emotionally, physically, yes. and you'll f hopefully find some answers. Mm -hmm. And the most important thing is stay persistent. Yes. Don't give up. Absolutely. Don't give up. And we're here to help at CMI Fertility. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of great specialists out there. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Google mm -hmm. can be very helpful. <laughs> so I remain... Uh, 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 remind myself each day that there's so much great information yes. that we can get out there. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, thank you for sharing. And especially with these tests, with the vitamin D testing and increasing our folic acid, what's wonderful that I love about this is the vitamin D testing is such an easy test. It, it is. And it's mm -hmm. new. It's, I think, something that's we're becoming more and more aware yes. Simple blood test. Just, that's all it is. And and it may be a weekly supplement. Yeah. It may be intravenous supplements. Mm -hmm. Maybe just daily supplements. Yes. But it may be the little one key that might help mm -hmm. getting it to the next level. And and when we talk about the immune system, there are lots of other treatments. Uh, be open to Absolutely. all of those other options too. Absolutely. And working on, of course, decreasing stress and increasing relaxation through Circle of Hope support group sessions and using our CMI Healing Arts practices. So being able to add in massage and acupuncture when you're able to, utilize free yoga for fertility as much as you can to work on supplementing your immune system from the inside out as well. It's a wonderful way to approach it. And also there's some great articles about how um, yoga, meditation, massage, mm -hmm. acupuncture, all helps uh, to to um, um, to help modulate the immune system yeah. and to help improve the implantation process. Mm -hmm. And when you, you you think about it, um, that that beautiful embryo is working to find a great home. Yes. In an inflamed environment, uh, it's very difficult Absolutely. for it to to stick, and or it may stick abnormally, mm -hmm. which may lead to increased miscarriages. So I, I, I believe it's that big black box, mm -hmm. but it's, it's not the answer, it's just mm -hmm. one of the areas. Mm -hmm. I additionally believe that endometriosis, mm -hmm. an inflammatory condition that 
a diagnostic laparoscopy, hysteroscopy can be very helpful for. Absolutely. And it's interesting how much of our specialty has gone away from the diagnostic hysteroscopy, mm -hmm. laparoscopy, thinking, well, let's just get you right to in vitro. Mm -hmm. But in fact, many people do not need IVF. Mm -hmm. And IVF isn't always the end all to this. Mm -hmm. it, it often is, let's, again, the global approach of yes. uh, the diagnostic blood testing, uh, the ultrasound, mm -hmm. hysterosonograms, hysterosalpingograms, and then the laparoscopy, very important because you can't always see it Correct. from the outside, and you need to look. Absolutely. And I've seen so many, many uh, couples, individuals who have found success mm -hmm. through a simple diagnostic laparoscopy, hysteroscopy. Absolutely. Well, thank you for sharing this information as always. I know our clients appreciate it. Um, again, just reaching one more point of, well, this is something that I can work on. We can work on vitamin D. We can work on supplementing our health and also decreasing stress and anxiety. So thank you very much. We appreciate it. Our daily practice, and thank you for, for sharing and listening. And please don't hesitate to call. Absolutely. We're always available. Uh, it may just be a 15-minute uh, mm -hmm. or 30-minute uh, phone conversation. We're always open to Dr. Kiltz.